Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. This video is gonna be short. I'm basically gonna show you how to find locators for your further usage in your Epium tests. So for example, I have this emulator running with the tasks application and just a simple application I grabbed from a Play Store, just the APK. Specifier it right here, tasks APK. So what I wanna do is just basically launch this application and we're probably just gonna inspect those buttons and click those. So what do you need to have in order to be able to do all that for yourself so you need to have your IntelliJ idea with all the dependencies written up here so you need to have your Appium dependency and you should have your testng dependency basically I expect you to understand what this this is all about but if not I'm gonna do another video about this topic so basically just Appium and testng dependency our test is basically set up just to execute an emulator right here so it's Android we're gonna have this APK right here we're gonna specify our Appium server address and our Appium server running right here so this should be running the platform is a Mac here but it's gonna work in Windows and other pl platforms too so basically not an issue here if you're on other platform and by the way I also set capability to uh, auto grant permissions because some apps might ask for additional permissions and if it's that the case it just typically just uh, like allows all the permissions and it's gonna run fine so I have my emulator running right here so let's begin so how to locate elements on your application. First of all, if we just go to terminal and type UI Automator Viewer, it's gonna launch this one. It's UI Automator Viewer. It's the app shipped by default with ADB. How can you get ADB? Well, you can just install Android Studio and you're gonna have ADB tools and you're gonna have the emulators as well. So if you have Android Studio, it's really easy to manage all the emulators and manage this and have this one as, as part of it. Guys, one thing I forgot to mention is that first before running this UI Automator Viewer command, you need to take a look at your bash RC file, which is this one bash RC located in your home directory and make sure that you have those two lines basically path should be set for platform tools and bin folders so basically you have this ability to uh, go to the UI automator uh, viewer application that's that's those paths you need to have in your bash rc file you can also install it separately but I just recommend like have it like Android Studio with all the stuff right here so how to inspect elements easy so we just set up the page we want for example okay let's let's it's gonna be this page then we're gonna press this button Button, device screenshot so it takes UI snapshot obtaining device screenshot and it's gonna show us what exactly it's all about so basically it shows all the elements right here and it shows all the resource IDs for those elements so we select here for example we don't have the resource ID here all we have here is the image button let's try to locate this element by this class and see if it works let's go back here and type driver find element by and in this case it's gonna be class name and we're gonna just click it let's try it if it works let's press this test button and see if it all starts up fine all right it failed okay it says unable to create a remote session please check the server log okay okay guys let's restart the server so yeah Appium server is another thing you should have installed and you should just open it up and start it all right let's change the port now it should start let's see all right it starts the app and it clicks the button which is exactly what we expect so the test passed we we are able to locate the element unfortunately this is not always gonna work and the reason because basically this image button is not unique this is kind of like a challenge sometimes to locate buttons but here we were lucky so let's go back to terminal and you I I close this window I need to reopen it okay I now need to reopen the app and scan it all again I need to open this page and I need to press this button so let's take a snapshot all right so I have it here and if you want to press the new list or settings or any other button we just press this one new list for example right in this case it has the resource ID it's just like unique ID we can use so here we need to press we need to say driver dot, dot find element by ID and in this case we're gonna provide the resource ID and we're gonna perform click and what else well let's try some something else uh, let's try as well clicking the settings button here and we're gonna press this one as well so again we'll have the resource ID find element by 
ID and we're gonna provide it right here. So we have three clicks here. Let's see how it works. Let's again press on this test and let's execute it. So we should have our Appium server right here. We can take a look at the logs while it executes all that. All right, so it's restarted. It pressed the menu button and it failed element cannot be located on the page using the given search parameters well i think this happened because there is no timeout we set so we need to set timeout driver.manage timeouts implicit wait and we're gonna provide five seconds and we're gonna say time unit seconds unit seconds and let's start it up again this happened because there was no timeout it basically it expected this element to be appearing immediately but it takes some time to load this menu right so that's why it didn't work let's see if it works now all right ah okay <laughs> this is why it failed because i definitely forgot about this menu <laughs> that's why it failed well for this short tutorial i'm not gonna implement all those methods and i'm just gonna say we like we're able to understand how locators work and how to identify using the this ui automated viewer app content description is also very very useful also another way to locate it is using this text code settings right so for this one we need to build x path today we're not gonna um, not gonna look into this one But also, after executing all those tests, we should have this after method. Usually it's called tear down. So it's, it's called public void tear down. And here we usually provide this one driver.close. And basically we're just closing our Appium session. So we're just like finishing this uh, session. There's also a way, like before any methods we execute, we should also provide this one before method. And let's say a public before method. And here we're gonna provide driver reset app sorry basically so it resets apps the initial state so we install like clean version each time it uh, removes all the stuff this is like the simplest way i can explain how to use locators for your appium tests and this is the best way to do it with all those annotations because like this is how it's done in the industry annotations are very important to understand and know and this one in this case it's a test and g annotations all right thank you guys for watching please subscribe press the like button and there will be more videos about web driver appium and all the tools that help testers automate the tests. <laughs> Thank you.